Hey, 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 don't jump! <laughs> Time to transfer some tarantulas! This was definitely the most dramatic intro I ever recorded and it is all thanks to this dramatic t-shirt. Do you like it? Huh? The most dramatic t-shirt ever and don't ask me where I got it because I received it from one subscriber and I have no idea where it is from. <laughs> but as I said, torrential rehouse video. Over here you will see all the torrentials that we need to rehouse. Three of these are males from the recent video and this one is from last Friday sparing video where we paired any, the Brachypelma opilosum, but I had a few issues regarding that video. Right before that video got published it got demonetized and since I was away I haven't been able to appeal it and then after I got home I appealed the video, the claim that the video is not suitable for advertisers. At first when algorithm detects potentially um, not monetizable videos it will automatically demonetize it but it leaves the option to appeal that and then a person will check the video and see if, if the algorithm was wrong and then it will restore monetization on that video. I get false flags like that periodically, it is nothing surprising. It can potentially be because in the title I put sexy time and therefore the bot flagged it but all my pairing videos were labeled like that and not all of them get flagged. And so far they approved me every single appeal, that means that every time they would restore the monetization on the video. But this time after manual review it didn't. Someone checked the video and said, mm, torrential appearing video, that is not acceptable for, for advertisers. What? What the hell? And thanks to that, even though YouTube claims that videos that aren't monetized, they will still perform the same way, but I can see that that sexy time video is not performing like other sexy times videos. Not even the closest, even though it got amazing shots. So thank you, you lovely person that watched my video and said that that is not good content for YouTube. Thank you, very nice, good job. I'm just a little pissed about that situation, but I sent them an email and we will see if something can be done. And by the time you're watching this video, I will probably know the situation. So there will probably be some comment or some, something, something, yeah. But in case you haven't seen that video, now you know the reason why. Now let's do this, what do we have? We have two Brahipelma Hamori males that I received. And also here is one that I have for a longer period of time. You see the reason why we will rehouse him there is a lot of mold in his enclosure and mold is not good. Also for the same reasons we will rehouse the Brachypelma baunganterni male, I mean female, pardon, and Hysterocrates gigas male. Both of these enclosures got moldy and also one Psalopeus sirminia enclosure, it also got a lot of mold and that's why we will rehouse this little fella. And while we are at, at rehousing slings, this Trixopelma prurians, you see I finally, finally did labels, you see here, and label, here I'm finally labeling my enclosures. This little guy you see, he is too big for his enclosure, so he will get a slightly bigger one. So that is in total how many rehouses, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is a good number, right? Right, and let's start with, with this Trixopelma, it will definitely be the easiest, and I will actually try to get this label off so I can get it on new enclosure. Oh, I can easily remove it. That is a good thing. <laughs> so I'll just put it on this enclosure and the enclosure is ready. I mean, no, it's not ready. We need substrate. A little bit of substrate. Call for a potential burrow if it wants to do that. I don't know. And let's get it out. If I remember correctly, it is not really a fast one. Not a fa Oh, but it is kind of defensive little fella. Don't bite the straw, please. Ooh, bolty bolty. You really are a little bolty bolty. Oh no. Now it's, ooh. It cannot decide if it wants to bolt or not. Bolt or not to bolt. That's the question. You can bolt inside of this. Look. <laughs> there we go. First successful rehouse. Nailed it. Now we will try to do the same thing with Salopeo Sirminia, but you know that they really are bolty bolty. So hopefully I will be able to control it. I need to put some small stick inside so it can web around. You see, like this. Now, how bolty will you be? Okay, not too bad. Not too shabby, not too shabby. <laughs> hey, 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 don't jump! And look where it jumped. It jumped back on its old enclosure. Crazy, did it Did it calculate it like that or what? You can go in your new enclosure. Oops, come on, just move inside. Slowly, yeah. That was a cool shot. I'm wondering if 
if the angle was good so you could see the jump. I have no idea. We can move into something bigger. We can move bigger tarantulas, that's what I wanted to say. Let's actually go with this Brachypelma hamori males. You know, when I got them, I wasn't sure if they are Brachypelma smithy or hamori, because they are still labeled as smithy. But few people told me that that is definitely hamori and once I compare it with true smithy that I will see it for myself. So I need to get real Brachypelma smithy. They will go into these boxes, you know, the usual stuff. I will actually try to take his... Ooh. You don't want me to do that? What are you doing? I just want to take your hide. Oh, it was connected with hot glue. Perfect little budget hide. You don't need expensive cork bark. Can we get you to move? Gently, gently, slowly. Come on. Don't be shy. New world awaits. Oh, <laughs> there he is. Little fella. Little fella number one. Then we move into... A, just a, then we move into a little fella number two. And then slightly bigger fella number three. I will steal his hide if he allows me. Oh, oh I can actually lift him together with the hide. God damn. <laughs> I bet he didn't expect that. Can you move down from the hide so I can bury it? Come on, let it go. Go down. Leave it alone. Much better. <laughs> Let's move into a slightly bigger guy number three. Let's check out how... how moody is he? <laughs> Why was I surprised? That is my straw. Can you give it to me? Thank you. And this straw will actually push you out of this enclosure. At least I hope to do that. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Move onto my hand. No, don't go back, come on. And now... Go, 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 blub, 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 blub. Oh, yes. <laughs> Smooth as butter. <laughs> Enjoy your new house. Here is your lid. Mind your fingers. And that's it. Now I have all three males on one stack. <laughs> I like that. Who is next one? Brahipelma Baumgar... Ga... Baum... Baumgar Tenny. It's not that hard. You see mold, 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 and you see the water dish. It is always good to have water dish. So then Tarantula have the option to just bury it in the substrate. Very good, I like. Hey, where are you going? You are already going outside. Sweet. Oh, now when I touch you, you will stop, huh? Come on, sweetheart. Her abdomen is really, really long. I think I commented that in one of the previous videos. Compare it now with her carapace, you see? How long it is, hilarious. <laughs> the other Brahipelmas, they were like that. So now, what will I do with you? I still didn't set up your enclosure, you know? This wasn't good tactic. There, now you stay there. Let me just stay there while I set up your enclosure. You see how some tarantulas can be so cooperative. She didn't move a muscle, excellent. Thank you for listening to me. Now I will quickly make your new enclosure without the mold, hooray, right? And then you can do your your tarantula stuff. Once again, I will need you to climb my hand. Or I can just pick you up with the straw. No, you prefer the hand? All right. We can also do it like that. However you like. Here is your new enclosure. That fat booty. <laughs> and I hope you will enjoy it. She was so cold. Awesome. But I guess when we get to Hysterocrates Gigas, the only old world in this video, with him situation might be a bit different. I definitely won't be putting it on my hand, that's for sure. Now, Brahipelma albopilo, so what are you doing down there? You see he is on top of his hide under this piece of plastic. <laughs> and I will also take that hide because that is his hide and I'm sure that he will prefer it like that. But will he get aggravated by that? Hey man, I will need that. You can also come, it's not a problem. Look how he is stretching. <laughs> well, just just buried inside and i noticed that some of you commented and then spotted by myself his back leg this one it is a bit bent you see let me just get him outside so you can see it better hey yeah i need you outside once again but this time oh don't do uh, don't kick hairs please because this time there is no girl that wants to murder you <laughs> come on bloop 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 so hard to get him on my hand you see how this back leg, it is going inwards. Unlike this part, you see it is going outwards. 
and this part it is always going inwards like it is a bit broken or something i think that it doesn't bother him because he was able to parry just fine and he was holding any like a champ so i don't know it is just a visual thing i guess here is your next station all aboard no no not on my hand <laughs> not cool bro definitely not cool <laughs> i don't want to be <laughs> itchy <laughs> We will see. Now move that sexy booty and let me close this off. And now the last one, but this will be a bit tricky. Not only that, this one is an old world. Old world that is potentially really bolty, really fast and also got much more potent venom than the rest of these new world tarantulas. Also on top of that, I first need to get him outside of this enclosure because I have no, I don't have any empty ones of this size. So I will need to get him out clean this enclosure and then put him back in but we will do this the safe way safe way the safest way hello buddy are you planning to freak out on me time to find out that was all right now go up no 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 no, no. go up no no put back those put your hands in the cup hands in the cup no, just go on top. I need to be smarter than him. And when did you stop recording? Outsmarting the tarantula is not really hard. Just need to think a bit. And this is how it's done. <laughs> I will put you here. Take this enclosure. Get all of this upside out. Wash it thoroughly and you wait right there. And I'm back. Some substrate. Nice looking pork bark. Is this nice enough? I will push it all the way down, compress all this substrate and we are ready for, for the tarantula. But the question is, is the tarantula ready? Only one way to find out. Now you can just, oops, you can just calmly go down. Yes. I said calmly. I said calmly. Please. At least he found the, the height, so he is just under there. This was really easy when you take into an account that this is an old world. Bolty, bolty old world. Yeah, you down there that is hiding. I can still see you. <laughs> awesome. Okay, this was everything. All the rehouses are done. All the transfers are done. And I really shouldn't use this, this lid because there is probably a ton of spores on top. <laughs> I forgot to wash it, but I have the, the spare one. Easy peasy. And now one quick announcement for all of you that are actually watching these videos right, right until the end. I have three trips planned in this year. Two of those are in the USA. You have seen that I got the, the visa. I posted it on Instagram. And the third one will, of course, be the BTS. First one will be in April. Show me snakes slash show me tarantulas in St. Louis. Then the second one will be BTS, but in fifth month, what is that, May? I don't know. And then last trip, it will be in Phoenix, where I will attend uh, this year's Pet Fest. And I also don't remember the date. It will be written, but I will also announce this in greater detail in some other future video. Yeah, and that is probably not the only trips that I will do this year. I have some ideas, but they are still in planning. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> if you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, <laughs> Sorry, Mitsa, my bad. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. Apple every Monday and Friday. So see you again soon. Bye. -bye.